On the show this week, we have Delhi's Lieutenant Governor Tejinder Khanna. Shanghai doesn't have 1500 monuments as we have. Yeah. We have a historical heritage and we are as I said preserving our natural heritage as well. When people say you are not as global as Shanghai, I don't agree. In golfing news, Katrina Matthew wins Lorena Ochoa Invitational. Phil Mickelson elected to Golf Hall of Fame. And golf tip with Jasjeet Singh. What I've noticed over the years of teaching is that uh, everyone has a different style of putting. Hello and welcome. You're watching Tea Time with me, Shelly Chopra, a very special guest, the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, Tajinder Khanna. Thank you very much for being with us. It was a great pleasure to be here. Thank, thank you. you very much thank for being you. on the show. Mm -hmm. Let me first off ask you about the Bachelor's Cup since you just teed off. It's mm -hmm. been such a nice uh, event, 100 years of golf at Delhi Golf Club. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for you and Delhi? I think uh, Delhi is a city of traditions and this is a tradition left by the British, you know, when they uh, transferred the capital from Calcutta to Delhi in 1911 right. and uh, they started playing golf That's because right. of St. Andrews is where it all that. started <laughs> and uh, so they actually launched the Bachelor's Cup. I believe there was a Britisher called Mr. Bachelor and he donated the cup and they started the first tournament in 1911 which is exactly a century uh, from now. That's right. And it's, it's not much to do with single men if someone's looking about that or women for that matter. But Delhi is of course seeing a lot of um, lot of increase in terms of golf courses. There's tremendous interest in the game that's building up. Do you think that's something that Delhi needs to keep up with? You see, Delhi has being the national capital, people here both in the government and outside, they are really constantly stressed out, you know. There's so much <laughs> pressure of uh, work and activities on their time. So they are in a time compression zone all the time. Yeah. And uh, as we all know, it's very necessary to basically de-stress, relax. And what could be better really for people of all ages than to come out on a beautiful golf course, lots of greenery, trees, yeah. nature, ozone in the mornings and so on. And I would say that we have done very well from the Delhi Development Authority yes. in setting up India's first public golf course. Which is the, the Kutub. Kutub, Kutub Golf yeah. Course, yeah. full 18 holes. And anybody can just come, pay a small green fee and play. Yeah. It's not club-based, you know, membership. It's Correct. just open. Right. And people have really appreciated it. It's very well maintained. And uh, I think we have got a wonderful response for that open golf course. The second one, we are now doing it Dwarka, the new twin city. Yes, it's being uh, much awaited because awaited. India really looks forward to a little more public courses. Public courses. And the third one we have is in North Delhi, which is the Bhalsawa yes. golf course. As you enter Delhi, you know, it's a new golf course. I think they have done nine holes, yes. but we'll be expanding to 18. Let me just bring you back to the factors that you said that lead people out on the golf course. You talked about getting stressed out. Mm. How hard is it to deal with politicians as a bureaucrat in today's government? Well, I'd say that in my role as administrator of the national capital, I have a very well-defined constitutional role. Right. And some subjects like law and order, security, uh, land, plan development of Delhi, they are with the Lieutenant Governor right. as the representative of the Union Government. Yeah. The uh, Chief Minister who is elected, she has a number of subjects like education, health, transport, social welfare and uh, she is addressing those issues and I find very little scope really for interference as such. Right. Other than the fact that the Lieutenant Governor is supposed as the representative of the Union Government to keep a benign eye on what is happening even vis-a-vis -vis the transferred subjects okay. and if he finds something is amiss and may not be in larger national interest then he can refer the matter for final decision to the Union Home Ministry. Sure. So that's how it goes. So there, I don't think we cross too many wires with the politicians. Let's pick up some of the more um, detailed rules that you're now, uh, you know, part of. One is, of course, looking at 2021 in terms of a committee that looks over the role of traders, how they take themselves away from being a little more local-led to slightly more globalized as uh, traders in Delhi. 
how do you think the whole Strata community, something that Delhi has actually seen itself made up of for many years, mm -hmm. is evolving in today's world? Well, basically, Delhi is now a very major center of wholesale trade. Right. And uh, <clears throat> there are lots of people who are um, selling all kinds of merchandise based in Delhi to retailers, not only for the national capital, but throughout this uh, national capital region area. Mm. So, which goes into several states. And they are based here, I think they are very robust and they have a great history of basically um, doing very well as traders. Right. The other thing is of course, Delhi has also become a major center for export. And a lot of uh, handicraft based exports and all come out of Correct. Delhi. Typical traditional jewelry, footwear and handicrafts and all. But there's so, always that fear that they might be trapped in <clears> the past where they have Yes, great products, but not necessarily the best processes. Mm -hmm. And that's when they depend on people like you to actually help them out a little bit administratively. Well, I'd say that uh, in terms of product improvement and all, this for exports particularly, yeah. this is being handled by the Commerce Ministry. They are providing lots of inputs to these people and to upgrade product, to get into you know better market uh, accessibility and uh, basically catering to higher kind of price levels and all in foreign markets. If there were any two tenets of the Tajinder Committee hmm. that's looking up to 2021, what would you pick uh, as any trader or any businessman who's listening to you? What do you think will be the two key things you'd like to tell them about? It? 2021, of course, is the master plan yes. for Delhi. Yes. And there in the master plan, we are stressing many things apart from just the trade that we need to create a lot of housing development for the you know, people living in the lower economic uh, strata. Yeah. Because as you know, Delhi has a huge amount of uh, migration which has taken place over the years. Yes. And we have uh, almost, you know, need for something like 800,000 housing flats to accommodate people at the lower income rungs. Get them out of slums. Yes. And uh, shanties and put them into very good quality of habitation with independent flats, kitchens. Right. You know, toilets and all for each family. So that's one key thing. Second thing we want to, of course, improve the total infrastructure in the city for things like our roads and the parking amenities and also then the need for the poorer people to have vending zones so that I they see. don't crowd pavements and carriageways. Then we have about almost half, uh, half a million rickshaws in Delhi and they right. need parking So creating those spaces and basically also mm. maintaining Delhi's architectural and, uh, you know, archaeological heritage. Then we have these two major natural features of Delhi, the Aravalis yes. and the Yamuna River. Shanghai doesn't have 1500 monuments as we have. Yeah. We have a historical heritage. And we are, as I said, preserving our natural heritage as well. When people say you are not as global as Shanghai, I don't agree. 